Fauja Singh, 111 years old, shares a secret to conquer health and longevity. Envision yourself being 89 years old and training for a marathon. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? This is indeed what Fauja Singh did. He began running when most people his age wouldn't even consider trying it. Not only did he begin running, but he went on to set world records and serve as an inspiration to countless others. Fauja Singh, the youngest of four children, was born on April 1, 1911, in Bias Pind, Jalandhar, Punjab, British India. When Singh was five years old, he finally learned to walk. His legs were so frail he had trouble walking a short distance. For the next decade, he endured relentless teasing and was known as Danda as a result. Singh used to compete in amateur running events, but stopped doing so around the time of the partition of India. After Singh's fifth son, Kuldip, was killed in a construction accident in August 1994, it took him until 1995 to pick up jogging again. His wife passing away in 1992 and his oldest daughter passing away from childbirth problems inspired him to devote his life to this new mission. He moved to Ilford, England in the 1990s to be closer to his son. He began training for and competing in international marathons at the age of 89. He wore a three-piece suit to his first day of training in Redbridge, Essex. The instructor had to make adjustments to his wardrobe. In the year 2000, Singh participated in his debut race, the London Marathon. His former instructor said that he was able to run up to 20 kilometers with ease and that he had hoped to run a marathon, but had underestimated its distance, 42 kilometers. After coming to this conclusion, he committed himself to train. Singh ran a marathon in 6 hours and 54 minutes at the age of 93. 58 minutes faster than the previous world record for those aged 90 and up. He appeared in a campaign ad for Adidas in 2004 alongside David Beckham and Muhammad Ali. In a span of 94 minutes, Singh allegedly broke the UK records for the 200 meters, 400 meters, 600 meters, mile and 3000 meters for his age category. At the special Ontario Masters Association Fauja Singh International Meet in Birchmount Stadium in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Singh attempted and accomplished eight world age group records in one day. Officials in Canada recorded his times as follows, 100 meters in 23.14 seconds, 200 meters in 52.23 seconds, 400 meters in 2 minutes 13.48 seconds, 800 meters in 5 minutes 32.18 seconds, 1500 meters in 11 minutes 27.81 seconds, one mile in 11 minutes, 53.45 seconds, 3,000 meters in 24 minutes, 52.47 seconds, and 5,000 meters in 49 minutes, 57.39 seconds. No one over the age of 100 had ever tried the distance, hence there was no previous record holders. Some of his times were also far faster than the official M95 world record. On 16 October 2011, at the age of 100, Singh competed in the Toronto Waterfront Marathon in a time of 8 hours and 11 minutes and 6 seconds, becoming the oldest person ever to do it. He was over 14 minutes late to the starting line, hence his age group record submission time would be 8 hours, 25 minutes and 17 seconds. Yet Fauja Singh's road to success was far from smooth. There were several obstacles in his path. The death of his wife and son in a car accident was one of the most difficult things he ever had to overcome. He was heartbroken by what had happened and considered suicide as a solution. On the other hand, he was able to channel his sorrow into running. The fact that he was aging over the years was another obstacle. A lot of people thought he was getting too old to run and thought he would stop. In any case, Fauja Singh never let his advanced years prevent him from pursuing his goals. He thought age was just a number and that anyone could accomplish their goals if they put their minds to it. The lessons to be learned from Fauja Singh's journey go far beyond the sport of running itself. According to the proverb, it's never too late to start something new. He didn't start running until he was in his mid-80s. He also demonstrates that you may be successful at any age. It's all in your head. The life of Fauja Singh has become a beacon of encouragement for individuals all around the world who are struggling, in sports and beyond. He is revered for his indomitable spirit and refusal to ever give up. But Fauja Singh will be remembered for more than just his track record. He has also taken use of his notoriety to advocate for and solicit donations for numerous worthy causes. He has given money to groups that are trying to do things like end poverty, educate kids, and improve the lives of seniors. 
He's also used his fame to rally people to support one another in times of crisis, spreading the message of love and togetherness. The examples of Fauja Singh show that age and other limitations should not prevent anyone from beginning over and going for their goals. His life demonstrates that with effort, willpower, and optimism, we can accomplish everything we set our minds to. He instilled in us the values of perseverance and determination in the face of hardship. In addition to serving as an inspiration to readers all around the world, Fauja Singh's journey has been chronicled in a book titled, Fauja Singh Keeps On. This biography by Simran Jeet Singh details Fauja Singh's extraordinary rise to fame as a marathon runner of legendary status. Beginning with Fauja Singh's childhood in Punjab, India, the book chronicles the rest of his life. The author digs into Fauja Singh's childhood, discussing the hardships he endured, such as working in the fields as a boy and enduring the partition of India. Personal losses, such as the loss of Fauja Singh's wife and children, are also addressed in the book. Fauja Singh never gave up hope or abandoned his aspirations in the face of adversity. He persisted in his efforts and as a means of maintaining his health, came to enjoy running. The book recounts Fauja Singh's rise to fame as one of the world's most decorated marathon runners, beginning with his childhood interest in the sport. The concept of seva, or selfless service, is central to Fauja Singh's ideology, is also explored in the book. Fauja Singh has utilized his notoriety to bring attention and funding to a number of worthwhile organizations, and this book emphasizes the value of giving back to one's community. Simranjit Singh interweaves themes of fortitude, resiliency, and optimism throughout her novel. Fauja Singh's perseverance and optimism are highlighted as they are shown to have allowed him to succeed despite many obstacles. For readers of all ages and walks of life, this book is a testament to the positive effects of perseverance and discipline. Now, let us talk a little about how the man is still so youthful. Well, according to Singh, I think what has saved me is that I have no ego and no greed. I have never wanted to hoard any money or create a large bank balance. The government here gives me a pension and whatever is left, I just donate to charity. I have recently donated millions to the Pingalwara as well. I think this is what's kept me going. He has also said, I was told repeatedly in India that I will be the subject of a Bollywood biopic. Yet I reasoned that there was no need to create a biographical film about my life because everyone already was familiar with me and my achievements. The world adores and respects me. I need nothing. Love and respect are the only food I need to keep going. Another lesson we learn from him is that we must always be true to ourselves. They wanted me to take off my turban and put on a patka when I ran a marathon for the first time, a smaller head covering usually worn by sportsmen and athletes. Yet I wouldn't budge, and I steadfastly wore my turban. Baba Fauja Singh is extremely proud that every Sikh wears a turban now, whether there is a marathon in England, Canada, India, or anywhere regardless of where the race takes place. So, what words of wisdom does he have for those who would emulate his health and longevity? Eat less and work out regularly. Fauja Singh recommends keeping an eye on your diet and avoiding temptations of no real value. People today typically begin utilizing the use of a walking stick around the age of 60. You can tell because I've never had to resort to a cane. My eyesight and hearing have both diminished with age, but I am otherwise in excellent physical condition.